Hi guys, it's Vesna, your DPS here at Blue Parasol. Um, I wanted to create this video for educational purposes and also to give you guys an update on the current lab work situation that we're having here at the company. Um, a lot of our pharmacies are very happy with our service. They, are th they think we're doing a great job. The only thing that's kind of killing us a little bit here is our lab work issues. And what do I mean by lab work issues? So a lot of the complaints that were generated were due to our nurses drawing too many uh, vials, unnecessary vials, which would delay the lab in releasing the results of the patient. And another issue, a huge issue that we were having was too many missing fees fields or incorrect fields on our requisites for our patients. So um, Natalie and I and other pharmacies have found a way to try to see if we can eliminate this issue because it's really turning into an epidemic now at this point. It's not just us, it's happening all across all the other agencies as well. So um, I want to implement a new system where we're going to be emailing you guys a uh, lab corp requisite or quest requisite with the patient's information already filled out so here's an example right now okay this is a lab requisite that we had scanned in and then we used the adobe fill and sign app to pre-populate everything on it so we will be mailing these out to the patient's home so you'll have a hard copy and we'll be emailing you guys in case you need to print one out um, if we already know that there isn't one in the home, okay? Just keep in mind, if you can look at the requisite right now, the requisite is going to only have the basic information of the patient. The tests that are ordered will be left blank. So however, the nurse is still responsible to be checking off appropriately what orders they need. Okay, so right here, this patient in particular has a CBC with diff, a CMP, ESR, CRP. Okay, so on the requisites, if you notice, right next to the, the name of the test, it tells you also the color of the vials that you need. So this prevents us from withdrawing too many vials. So in this case, this patient, because they have a CMP, a CBC, and an ESR with a CRP, if it is a lab in a box that most of our pharmacies are currently using, then it's going to be the two green tops, a gray top, and a lavender. The gray top is only drawn in the event if there's a CMP, a BMP, or a renal panel. A renal panel is not the same as a BUN and creatinine, so just keep that in mind. Only for renal panels, BMPs, and CMPs. If you are drawing for any other lab that is just regular, kits like this one over here that will be our standard tubes right we have a serum top tube also known as a speckled tube and then we have our lavender and our red red no additive tube the blue tube is included in all the kits too but just keep in mind you only need this tube if you're doing a coagulation panel a ptt inr it's really a few instances when we're going to be using this tube okay um, as a reminder to everybody, Benko Throps, any drug level is the red no additive too when it comes to regular lab kits. If it is a lab in a box, it's going to be your green top tube. Again, if you have any questions regardless about any tubes, please reach out to us. We're here for you, whether it's after hours or during the day. Just keep in mind, because it's after hours, it's not gonna always be me on call. We have my nurse manager, Natalie, who's recording, okay? So please feel free to always call the 718-349-1905 number to see who's on call. Because if you text us and we're not the one on call, we won't be able to call you guys right away. So remember all that, please. And if you guys have any questions, please call us. I hope you have a great Labor Day weekend and take care, guys.